I'm pretty active on um, all the forums and a lot of Facebook pages now since um, that's a new thing. And I keep seeing a lot of people post things about um, not running a thermostat. So I would definitely warn against that. In a little bit here, I'll try and explain kind of the, the reasoning behind this and, you know, why this is a pretty bad idea. Now, without a thermostat in your engine, you can have um, one of two issues happen right off the bat. Now, you're either going to overheat or you're not going to have any heat at all in your vehicle and it's going to run dead cold. And there's other issues associated with that. So, on some engines, they'll actually overheat because they have such an efficient water pump that if they do not have that restriction in there of that thermostat, it'll just continually flow through and it'll actually be flowing past um, your cylinder walls and your engine internals so fast that it can't um, pick up the heat and carry it away. So you'll actually cause your engine to overheat, which is kind of an ironic issue. Now on other engines, what you'll have is you don't have any restriction to build heat so you can never get up to an operating temperature and your engine will just run cold. And again, there's other problems associated with that, which I'll get to here in a minute. But if nothing else, you know, you get into winter or the colder temperatures, you're not going to have any heater whatsoever. And, you know, any issues that you have with that, if nothing else, you're just going to freeze to death inside your car when it gets to the colder months. But also, when your engine's colder, um, in order for it to run, it's got to kind of hang in the choke cycle. And a lot of people who run fuel-injected cars these days don't really understand, so I'll try and explain it in layman's terms. But basically, when your engine's cold, it's not atomizing the fuel um, as well. You know, you really only burn the vapor of your fuel. You don't burn the liquid. So you have to put more in to reach that stoichiometric ratio where your engine will burn your fuel properly and your engine can run. So to do that in the choke cycle, has to put more in. Now, um, not only does that take more fuel to run and you get worse gas mileage, and it's usually a significant drop in gas mileage, it'll also wear your engine out. So what you'll have happen is, um, you know, your rings are made to retain some bit of oil on them and lubricate the piston against the cylinder wall. Now when you're hanging in that choke cycle, what you're doing is you're adding a lot of extra fuel and eventually, and I don't know if you've ever poured gasoline on oil, but it pretty much um, eliminates all the lubricating properties of oil. And when you're running in that choke cycle and putting in um, more fuel, it's usually enough that you start to um, wear away at that oil and your uh, metal components start contacting each other because you've eliminated that oil film. And if you've ever heard of the term washing your cylinder walls, um, this is what people are referring to. Kind of an older term. Um, a lot of newer automotive people aren't aware of it, but um, anyway, that's another issue you can have if you have, um, if you remove your thermostat and you're just running cold all the time, you know, you're going to be running in that choke cycle, you're going to be washing the uh, oil off your cylinder rings, and you know, you're adding excessive wear to your engine that you wouldn't have otherwise. Now, not only are you getting gasoline past your pistons, you know, kind of washing your cylinder walls and creating wear there. That gasoline's also, um, you know, it's eventually going to work its way down in the crankcase and it's hard on your bearings as well. You know, you'll notice that your oil will get dirty and black a lot faster. And again, that gasoline um, really compromises the lubricating properties of oil. Now, another thing with um, all that aside, with running cold and your oil will not get up to temp if your engine does not get up to temp. Now, when your engine goes through heating cycles and heats up and cools, it's just like the condensation on your drink. It, um, you know, it'll draw in water. So you'll slowly get that condensation effect where it'll draw in water as you um, go through heating cycles in your engine, and that'll contaminate your oil also. And if you don't change your oil at the proper intervals, um, you know, you'll cause wear within your engine, but it'll definitely wear on your oil. Your oil will not have its lubricating properties that it's supposed to. And again, that's just detrimental to your engine health overall. So overall, I guess, again, um, you know, you, you want to run a thermostat. If your engine is overheating, um, it's generally because you have problems elsewhere. Uh, they were designed with a thermostat from the factory. They worked from the factory like that. So, and there's a reason for it.
If you're having issues with overheating, you know, again, you're going to want to track that down to other parts of your system where it be a leaking radiator, your radiator cap isn't pressurizing, so you're boiling your coolant, um, you know, you're low on coolant, anything like that, um, you want to correct it at the source. By removing your thermostat, you're just, um, you know, again, you're going to cause problems elsewhere and it's really just not worth it. So if anyone gives you that advice on forums or Facebook pages or whatever, you know, just, just don't listen to them because they have not the slightest clue what they're talking about.